the tenants part of that is a big one. So if you looked at a spreadsheet, and unfortunately I don't have one available here, but if you looked at a spreadsheet of a rental house, it would say rental income. That's how much your tenants are paying you. Then you have your property tax. Then you have your mortgage. Then you have your interest. Then you have your insurance. Then you have your landscaping. You have all these costs and you have to set your rent high enough in order to make some money off of this. But what you don't include there and what most people miss when they have rental homes is your time. So if you have rental homes, you are the person who has to find tenants. You have to go through the trouble of sifting through their applications. You have to call them all. You have to call their references. If there's a lot of turnover, you have to do this quite often. So that's one aspect of it is your time is not included in that profit and loss within real estate. And if you're somebody who values your time, that's a big part of it, right? That's a big part of it. And so looking for tenants, texting with your tenants, calling tenants, finding new tenants, all this kind of stuff takes so much time and nobody works that into their profit and loss statement on their rental home. So you could have good tenants, you could have bad tenants, but you still have somebody on the other end of that, that you, that's totally out of your control, right? And so that's a problem. And that was kind of the, one of the main reasons why I actually sold my house in 2021 is because I saw what was happening. The government was printing money or taking on more debt, whatever you want to call it. They were just sending it out to people. People were quitting their jobs. People were just living off of the government. And I knew the costs were going to go up. So my costs were going to go up. The people living in these houses were leaving their jobs. They're getting totally reliant on the government. And who do you, th oh, there's a fox in the yard. <laughs> I should let Arnie go see him. Pretty cool. Anyways, where was I there? <laughs> Um, government. So I saw two things happening at the same time. One of them is that people are leaving their jobs. They're going to have less income. They're going to be more rel uh, reliant on the government. And with that, sorry, this Fox is distracting me here. With that, what's going to happen? The government's probably going to start siding more with tenants. Tenants might not be able to pay their rent. And if you, if you know any history between the landlord and tenant relationship, the government very much favors the tenant. And so if, if the tenant leaves their job, the stimulus checks stop showing up, all of a sudden they can't pay their rent. That's a big problem for me because I still have to pay all of these costs every month. And if my tenant isn't making those payments, unfortunately, unless I go to court and, and have this huge legal battle with the tenant, there's not a whole lot that I can do. So I'm essentially gonna be funding somebody else to live. And that scared the shit out of me. So that, that's a big one. You have to consider your time and you have to consider what's going to happen here with UBI, with stimulus, with government control, all that kind of stuff. It's just not, I don't want to be in the middle of that. And I turned out to be not 100% right, but things have continued on that trend. And I think they're going to continue even further as we go along here.